Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies. In this video series, we are discussing about JavaScript. In today's video, we'll see how we can use type of operator in JavaScript to determine the data type of operands. Type of operator is used to fetch the data type of its operand. So uh, the return type when we apply a type of on particular operand, uh, so it's always string. Okay, and these two are syntax of using type of operator. So either you can use type of space operand or you can use type of then uh, operand inside a parenthesis. The second approach that is the parenthesis approach is used when we want to determine the data type of certain expressions. Okay. Now these are the possible return types when we use type of operator in JavaScript. So we can have undefined, null, boolean, number, then a big int, string, symbol, function, objects, right? So these are all the data types actually in JavaScript. Now these are certain points to remember or we can say certain exceptions when we use type of operators in JavaScript. Uh, the first one is NAN is having a data type as number so that we had already seen uh, when we were discussing data types in JavaScript. We had uh, num NAN, uh, then infinity and negative infinity as special symbols in number, right? So uh, next is uh, data type of array is object. Uh, that is fine. Then data type, type of date is also object. And uh, the next, this one is very important. So data type of null is object. So this is actually a bug in JavaScript and it is there from the initial days of JavaScript. And uh, most probably JavaScript is not going to fix this. So we need to keep this in mind that data type of null is object when we use uh, type of operand, okay? Next we have a uh, data type of undefined variable is undefined. That is uh, fine. Then next is data type of variable that has not been assigned value is also undefined. Why? Because uh, JavaScript uh, in memory component, this variable is assigned as undefined value. Okay. So this we have already seen when we were discussing uh, execution context in JavaScript. Okay. If you have not uh, seen that video, so it's a second video in this playlist and it is very important video. Uh, if you want to uh, learn all of the concepts clearly in JavaScript. So uh, let's go to our VS code and we will look into this one by one to understand it more clearly. Okay, so first we'll look into undefined. Let's create a variable. Let's say a variable as car. Okay, so we have just created variable. We have not assigned any value to it. Now let's see what is the data type of this variable. So we can use type of operand here. We need to specify this type of keyword and space and this variable whose data type we need to find out. Okay, that's it. Now if I try to execute this, let's see what we get. We get undefined, right? So this car is already assigned a value of undefined and that's why it is showing uh, the data type of this car as undefined. Now let's say if I manually assign undefined value to this car variable. So what do you think? What will be the data type? It will be undefined only, right? So if I try to save this and execute it, you can see this is also returning undefined, right? Let's comment this so we can use shortcut for this and we can move on with the second that is null we'll look into null uh, let's create a variable let's say hero equals to null okay so a null we usually assign null value manually to certain variables so that uh, later in calculations we can check whether this is null or it has been changed or not right so let's add a console log to verify the data type of this and we already saw in our presentation that data type is or should be object which is an bug in javascript right you can see it is returning object okay let's comment this also let's 
we will next look into boolean okay let's create a variable let's say bajaj equals to true and let's say if i try to apply type of on this let's execute this code and you can see that return is boolean okay now uh, one thing we also saw in presentation is the return type of this entire expression is string okay now if i try to apply type of on the entire operation okay so for that uh, we already saw if we are uh, trying to find out the data type of expression using type of we can use the parenthesis approach so we can apply type of here and put it inside parenthesis so uh, what we are doing we are doing type of this uh, variable and whatever is returning we are passing it into type of to check its return type right now what it should return it should return string so let's execute it you can see it is returning string okay so type of type of something would always be string in javascript so this you need to keep in mind okay and let's say we will see one more example where it can return boolean type see let's say we are having a expression a conditional expression okay and when it evolves it will be uh, returning some uh, conditional value let's say true or false some boolean value so let's see how we can apply type of there so let's create type of we need to use parenthesis because we are finding the data type of an expression and here what we can see we can use 10 is 10 greater than 6 so what this will return this will return true let's say we have one more expression let's say 3 greater than 4 now this will return false and this entire thing will become false because true and false is false now type of false what it should be it should be boolean right so let's check it let's comment this first let's save this and let's execute you can see we are getting boolean as return type okay so this is also clear boolean is also clear let's comment this now Now next we will see number data type okay so let's create a number let's say bajaj cost equals to one two three four five six okay any number and let's say we apply type of on this So what do you think it will return it should return number right yeah so this is a uh, very simple let's look into another one and this is string let's create a variable let's say let bajaj model and let's say we are using pulsar as a model okay now one thing to note about string is anything between double quote or single quote or back tick is string okay so let's say we are using double quotes here now let's see if i try to get the data type type of bajaj model okay now if i execute this we are getting string okay first we will comment this okay now instead of double quote if i am using single quote so this will also be a string in javascript okay so it will return string data type and let's say we are using if back tick again that should be a string in javascript okay so it's a string so either you can use uh, back quote you can use uh, double quote you can use single quote so everything is a string in javascript so let's comment this let's look into symbol in javascript symbol is used to create a unique value right 
so if i do this way it will always return a unique value okay and let's see if we want to check the data type of this so again it is very simple you just have to use type of and that's it you can see it is returning symbol as a data type just comment this and next uh, we are going to see the data type of object so let's create an object let's say let car equals to this so this is a valid object in javascript this is an empty object so let's look into the data type of this let's say type of car and save what it is returning it is returning object okay so this is a valid object in javascript remember now let's try with the function let's say we are creating a function in javascript let get model equals to function and let's say anything let's say we'll just add a console log inside this function we will save this and let's say we'll apply type of operand operator on this get model function okay now let's see what we are getting we'll just comment this one first and execute this you can see the return type is function okay so when type of operand is applied on the function it will return function as a data type so this is all about using type of operand in javascript if you have any questions you can write it down in the comment sections okay so thank you for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe this channel